Okay, our wing is ready to be cut and uh, we're going to need a straight edge and a hobby knife for this. Um, and you can see the, uh, um, the perforations on the wing. Um, these were cut with a laser, so these are, they go all the way through. So basically we're going to be just cutting between. So just lay your ruler right on top and draw your knife across and you'll feel it go thump, 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 thump as you're cutting through. Right. And then you can see on the end it uh, has a, a stripe pattern and uh, that's because of where the laser was cutting. And go ahead and do that with the other two sides also. Okay, when that's done, they should all go back together like that. And now we have to sand the edges so that when we lay them in the, the fin jig or the wing jig, there's no gaps. Because right now there's a gap underneath here and we need to close that gap to make the wing nice and strong. Um, to do that, that's where this other little sanding jig comes in. And this you need to do on the edge of a table. And uh, my table here doesn't have an edge. So I've created a fake table so you can see the edge that I'm talking about. It just needs to be nice and flat. Um, and this is going to, we're going to be sanding on this edge. So I've covered it up with uh, masking tape to keep the table from getting ruined. Um, you don't want to ruin somebody's good table. And you, you know the hell you'll pay for that. Um, so go ahead and put tape on it to keep it from getting ruined. Um, this, the way this is used, we're going to take one of our wing panels and we want to have the curved side up. And you want to lay it on the panel, slide it forward until it touches the table. So at this point I can feel it just touching the table. And then we want to slide this all the way to the edge so that the edge is just hanging over. Like that. Um, and then on our sanding block, we want to get some fine grit sandpaper. We don't want to use medium or heavy on this. We want fine grit because we're only going to be taking off a little bit. And the, the stripes here really do help uh, because that allows us to see where we are when we're sanding. And the technique on this is you got to hold with pressure on this and then kind of pushing forward just a little bit into the sanding block. And if you can still see some of the black, go ahead and do it just a little bit further. Okay, so this one is done. Um, so I'm going to take that and that one's going to go over here. And we're going to do the next one and we got to do both sides. And we need to do all four wing panels. So again, you put it on your... Uh, fixture, you slide it forward until it touches the table, and then slide the whole thing all the way to the edge so that this edge is hanging over the edge, and then keep this nice and flat against the table, and then sand. And if you're sanding off more of the black on one side than the other, that means you've got your wing twisted. So twist it back. done. Just swap it around. Now 
At this point, the wing has been sanded. I've got all the panels sanded um, with the really nice edges on them. And when you lay them onto the wing alignment fixture, um, you'll see the middle is right there with a big notch in it. Um, so you just kind of span that, kind of keep this edge parallel to the front, and then just lay them into the into the uh, the jig. And you'll notice you get some really sharp edges, really tight joints, and that's what you want. You want those really tight joints. Um, and now we're going to glue them together. And I'm going to use some wood glue on this. You can also use CA glue. Um, I like to use wood glue because it helps. It gives me some time to reposition things. Um, so I'm going to take one of the wing middle panels and I'll just put glue along the edge. And I want to spread that. So I get a nice, just a very thin film of glue. And you can do the other one if you want to. Probably about 90% of the glue we're putting on, we're taking right back off. Because we just want that thin film. And then, as before, just lay them into the tray and hold one side down and then slide the other one into it and align it. And then I'm going to take one of the outer panels, do the same thing. Although this time I'm not going to be able to, unless I let that glue dry, I'm not going to be able to put glue on that edge. So I'm going to leave a little bit of extra glue on this edge. In fact, I'm just going to um, see there's a lot of glue on there right now and I'm just going to touch them together and that leaves some glue there. And I'm going to take this probably 90% of that off and slide this one into position and if there's any glue that oozes out, go ahead and wipe that off. And ideally, you want it so that the edge spans that little, you'll see the little divot made in there. And that's for glue, so that um, if any glue does ooze out, it doesn't stick to the, to the uh, wing fixture here. Again, on this side, leaving a lot of glue there. And I'm going to touch them together. take off most of that. Hold that down. And slide them together. All right, at this point, um, the wing, this is the hard part of the whole assembly of the rocket, um, is making sure you have a good wing. Because if, if the wing is good, everything else makes the rocket so much better. So at this point I'm going to let it dry um, and then after this glue is dry I'll take a look at my joints and if there's any gaps in them I'm going to fill them with a little bit of glue. But uh, we'll let this dry and then we'll come back. At this point the wing is dry and I can remove it from the jig and I can take a look at it and my joints, the bottom side is really going to tell you how good you did. Um, they look pretty good. Um, I don't know if I need to put any extra glue on them or not. It, it won't hurt. Um, as you run your finger over you can feel that joint. Um, so just take a sandpaper, and I'm using the light fine grit sandpaper, 
and I'll just sand across those joints. So if I go one way and then the other way, I'll get a nice joint there on the edge. side you have to take it off of the sanding tee and I'm just going to lightly sand that flex it a little bit and if you see any of the gaps opening up then you know you have to put in glue um, just don't flex too hard or you'll break them apart so I'm just gonna run a little bit of glue my middle gap my middle joint is, is the one that I worry about the most really work it into that joint And if you have a little bit of a water on your napkin, uh, you can take off any glue that's on the surface. <laughs> My daughters hate when I do that. But it works. All right, so I'm going to let that dry, and our wing is now done. <laughs> 